Hello and welcome to the Harriet Miller Art Channel, giving you the techniques to produce amazing artwork. Today I'm really excited because we're going to be drawing a racehorse and you know how much I love horses. And also check out the new merchandise. I've been designing these t-shirts. This one's fastest draw in the West. And I've got a whole range of horse related t-shirts down below on the merch shelf. So don't forget to check them out. So for this tutorial, we're going to need some plain white paper. You'll need a pencil, an eraser, a black pen and something round to draw around. So I'm just using a little pot of paint here. And don't forget, if you like to draw horses, you can download my free PDF of how to draw horse galloping, which you'll find in the link just here. So let's get started. We're going to start off our horse with a circle towards the right hand side of the page. So just very lightly in pencil, just go around your circular object. Or if you want to learn how to do a circle freehand, check out the video in the link above. Now we're going to do two lines coming out diagonally to the left hand side. So if you can imagine there's a horizontal line, I'm just going to shift it slightly to the left. There's the diagonal line. OK, so I'm just going to follow that just downwards like so. And then the same on the bottom, just like this, just so that we know the direction of the next thing. This is going to be the horse's buttocks. So we're going to be doing the rest of the horse now. We need to draw an oval shape. So oval shape here. There we go. Just like this. There we go, it just has to be rough, doesn't need to be perfect. Please don't worry about getting these preparatory shapes perfect because they're really just guidelines just to help us. So you're the only one that's gonna see it. So really your secret's safe with mine. Mine's not great, so don't worry about it. Okay, so here at the top of this oval shape, just here where that cross is, we're gonna be drawing a line going diagonally to the top left-hand side of the page. It's gonna be the neck, okay or the crest, as we should call it. There we go. All right, at the top of this, we're going to be drawing a triangle shape. Just coming down, this is gonna be the horse's head. There we go. And if you want a tutorial on how to draw a horse's head in detail, check out the link now. Okay, so from here, we're going to be drawing a line that's going to join up this triangle to this oval. So just simply a line coming down. So that wasn't too hard. Okay, now we're going to be doing the legs. So just here, we're going to be drawing a little circle shape. We're going to join up the circle shape to the oval shape by drawing a sort of triangle shape. You'll see what I mean. Something a bit like that. Okay. And then we're going to do another one just a bit lower, just here. Now remember, at this preparatory stage, we can erase things, we can move things around. That's the beauty of doing these preparatory lines. So I might find that I've done this one too long, which I probably, mm, no, I think it's all right for the time being. I think that's okay. I might bring this a little bit higher actually. So there we go. I'm gonna move that little circle shape a tiny bit higher because the race horses have very long legs, but not that long. Okay, so next we're going to add the lower limbs, so this is the rest of the leg, just coming down, then a little bend there, and then a little triangle at the end, which is going to be its hoof. I'm going to do the same for this one, so a line coming out to the right hand side, goes diagonally up, and then a little triangle on the end. If you've got this far, you're doing so well, and also well done just for turning up, that's the hardest part, this bit's easy now. Once you're here, it just gets easier and easier, okay? So keep going. We're going to do another triangle shape here. And from here, we're going to be doing a diagonal line coming downwards to the left. Just follow my finger here. Okay. And the hoof on the end. Okay. Now for the last leg. We're on the last leg now, guys. Coming down. Coming down from here as well. And then we're going to do a diagonal line coming downwards. And then at the end of this, there's the hoof, just like the others. Brilliant. Now I've got to put in the jockey. So the jockey is basically just an oval shape like this. It's a kind of a, a slanted oval shape, if you can see what I mean. Just an oval shape, just like that. Okay, it does help to go round and round a few times just to get it kind of the right shape. And then a little circle on the end, that's gonna be the head. And then last but not least, a straight line coming downwards like this, and then to the left. 
Okay, I'm going to be erasing these preparatory lines as we come to do a bit more detail. So for the head, just we're going to be drawing the forehead that comes down and then the nose. So we're going to put in the nostril like this. Nostril's a bit like um, a quotation mark, if you can see what I mean like that. Okay, and then the lip and then the lower lip. Just like so. I'm going to raise this line as well while we're at it. Okay. I'm going to add in the cheek area here. And then we're going to join up this area to that area. We're going to follow the guidelines that we did before. And then we're going to do the chest area. I'm just going to raise this one because we no longer need this line. I'm going to go over it all in pen at the end, but I just want to get this part right first. So let's erase these preparatory lines. Don't erase them too much, just enough so that we can see it, but it doesn't interfere with our drawing at the moment. So I'm just going to do the forearm here, and then the chest area comes in like that. I'm just going to erase this and the knee area. Okay, remember not to press too hard. I'm only pressing quite hard so that you can see it on camera. So the back of this forearm. There we go. And then we're going to do the knee. I'm going to get rid of this. Goodbye, preparatory lines. Thank you for helping us, but we no longer need you. Okay, so there we go. And we're going to do the hoof. You can just make out the bottom of the hoof there. And then the heel. And then the fetlock, and then it comes back in again to here. We've made this a little bit too muscly. I know they're muscly, but we've made it slightly too muscly. So I'm just going to perfect that a bit. Okie dokie. Now for the other leg. I'm going to add a knee. And then down here. Keep stepping back and having a look at the whole of your drawing because um, it helps you get the proportions correct. So I keep on kind of distancing myself from the drawing just to check that I've got the right proportions. Nothing worse than doing your whole entire drawing and realizing that you've got one really really long leg and one really really short leg which has happened to me I must say quite a few times actually. Okay I'm going to do this hind leg now it's coming up thigh area. I've got these extraordinarily muscly thighs. So just add a few lines there. Okay, we're going to join it up here. I'm going to raise these ones. Did you know that the thoroughbred horse that they use for racing um, was originally bred for a war horse um, as they were really, really fast and powerful horses? I did not know that. Okay, so coming around and then this hind leg here and then the hoof and the fetlock there. I'm going to do the hock as it comes up just like so. Okay now we're on to the last leg. Ha ha ha. Right, let's get rid of it. Draw a little of hot. It's just hiding behind this front leg here. So we're just going to put in the hoof and the fetlock, and it goes and hides behind this other leg here. Okie dokie, right now we're on to the thigh and the croup. Okie dokie. So this comes out a little bit more than our circle originally intended. And then comes around and down. Oh, I've done that a little bit too high. So, all right, I'm going to go back and do that bit better. There we go. 
So you can see even after years of drawing and drawing and drawing, still make mistakes. Okie dokie, right, now we're on to the tail. So this comes out round here. Beautiful. Tail just blowing in the wind. There we go. Excellent. Now onto the jockey. I've raised the lines, but I can still vaguely see them. So just going around the oval shape that we did before. And this line here is actually part of the leg. So it's got the boot, the jockey's got boots on. And then just want to draw the leg in a bit more detail. Here's the knee. And he's really, really super hunched up, just like that. And then boot's going to be in the stirrup. So let's pop in a stirrup here. There we go. The stirrups are so, so short. There we go. Okay. Now we better add in the saddle. So this little saddle just peeping out from behind there. And then it comes down and the top of the saddle there. So we better put in the girth. And there we go. To keep on the saddle. And then they usually have like um, just something just saying the number of the racehorse. So here we're going to have like a number nine. There we go. Something like that. You can choose your favourite number. OK, so let's come round and finish off the trousers. And then, as you can see, I'm still following those guidelines that I did before. You may not be able to see them so well on camera, but I'm still following them. So here, the arm goes and joins up with the rest of the body, just like that. Can you see it's taking shape now? Then that circle that we did before is now going to be the riding hat. So I'm just going to add a couple of stripes, just like that. We'll add in the hand here, a couple of bumps just to show the knuckles. And then once we do the reins, we're going to join that all up. But first of all, we need to put in the ear just here. There we go. I'm going to also add in the forelock, which is blowing in the wind, just like this. Okay. And I'm going to add in the eye. Just like so. Now we're going to do the bridle. So I'm just going to do the bit. Join them all up. And then the reins go into the jockey's hand. Just like so. Comes down a bit. I'm going to add in the rest of the mane, just here. You can't really see it too well. There we go. Okie dokie, I'm now going to go over it all in pen. So I'm going to speed things up, okay? So I've erased all the pencil marks and now I'm just going to add some finishing touches. So it's just a bit more uh, muscle just under here and a little bit of shading. So just using lots of diagonal lines all next to each other, just like this, just adding in some shading just to the really dark areas. So this hind leg here, that's going to have some shading too, if my pen decides to work. There we go. Make sure they're all in the same direction, okay? Just under here as well. And a little bit under the neck. And behind this leg here. And a little bit under here. And on this leg, just behind there. Okay. I'm just going to do some cross hatching, which is where you do the shading in a different direction. Just down here as well. It's a lot darker down there. Okie dokie, I'm going to add in a little bit of muscle down this neck, just here, 
and then just a few lines just to show that there's a bit more muscle there as well. I think let's give it a bit more hair on the tail, just here. There we go. And then obviously, last but not least, we need to put in the ground, which is way down here. So let's just show that the ground's over here because it's just in midair, just galloping along. There we go. You can also colour in the saddle with this cross hatching technique if you like. Do it one direction, then the other direction. And then here as well. Just to give it the finishing touches. You can keep on going over it and going over it until it gets darker and darker like you like it. I'm just going to go over it here as well. And there's our finished racehorse with Jockey. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please consider hitting subscribe and liking. And I've got a whole playlist of other horse drawings. So help yourself to whichever one you like. And I hope to see you on the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.